now let us enter into the next topic that is dna so here we will understand its structure and replication please separate page mein likh dna structure and replication dna structure and replication pehle listen to me then we will write it i'll show you a small video for replication of the dna as well then all together we will write theek hai प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस चाहिए तो नेक्स्ट क्लास में भी कवर करेंगे नो प्रॉब्लम ठीक है फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड इट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक से व्हाट इज डीएनए इट इज अ न्यूक्लिक एसिड व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ इट डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स देयर आर वेरी वेरियस राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स सो इट इज अ डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एंड इट ट्रांसमिट्स जेनेटिक इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द वन जनरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन दैट इज in offsprings the genetic information coded in the parents will be transferred and it is also encoded for you no know, production of the proteins later dekhenge protein synthesis mein mrna will be created based on the coding that is done within it and in dna each nucleotide is made up of three parts first part jo hota hai ek carbon sugar See, this is a hydrocarbon. Second part जो होता है एक फास्पेट ग्रुप होता है थर्ड पार्ट जो होता है दैट इज ए नाइट्रोजन बेस सिंपल ये तीन चीजें याद रख लो वैसे भी इतना याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है नाइट्रोजन बेसिस आर द वंस विच चेंज देर आर सम कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री नाइट्रोजन बेसिस वी वी लुक एट इट आई एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज दिस बेस एंड हाउ द पेयरिंग इज डन एंड हाउ दिस पेयरिंग लीड्स टू the double helical structure of the dna very simple jada difficult nahi hai so isme teen parts hote hain number 1 ek carbon sugar hoga two ek phosphate group hoga three ek nitrogenous base hoga and this nitrogenous base jo hai this is more important one so there are basically four types which you find it in the dna unke alawa aur bhi do aate hain we will see it theek hai so in dna generally we use four kinds of nitrogen bases are found what are they number 1 adenine guanine cytosine and thiamine theek hai see uh matlab they are uh, having a structure like purine and pyrimidine theek hai in dono ka structures hota hai but we don't have to go that deep because anyway dna structure ke bare mein nahi puchhenge aur पूछा भी नहीं है और पूछेंगे भी तो जनरल इंफॉर्मेशन लिखेंगे इतना कोर जाकर यू डोंट हैव टू राइट अबाउट देयर केमिकल फॉर्मूला देयर स्ट्रक्चर हाउ द बेस पेयरिंग इज डन यू डोंट हैव टू गो इनटू दैट बॉन्ड्स एंड एवरीथिंग सिंपली नो देयर आर फोर नाइट्रोजनस बेसिस एडेनाइन ग्वानाइन साइटोसाइन एंड थायमिन सिंपल ठीक है इनको ये जी सी टी ठीक है इस तरीके से स्मॉल लेटर से मतलब उसका इनिशियल लेटर से इंडिकेट करते हैं दीज आर दी फोर नाइट्रोजन बेसिस जनरली वी फाइंड इट इन डी एन ए अपार्ट फ्रॉम डी एन ए देर आर अदर न्यूक्लिक एसिड सच एज आर एन ए सो आर एन ए में क्या होता है इट मे ऑल्सो कंटेन आडेनाइन गुआनाइन एंड साइटोसेन बट इन प्लेस ऑफ थायमेन देर विल बी अनदर बेस कॉल्ड यूरासिल दिस इज द वन विच डिफरेंशिएट्स डी एन ए एंड आर एन ए ठीक है थायमेन के जगह यूरासिल रहेगा सिंपल ये वाला याद रख लो नाउ कमिंग टू दी दिस इज बेसिक पॉइंट ऑफ इट नाउ कमिंग टू द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इट से इन डीएनए टू स्ट्रैंड आर देयर दैट मींस क्या है दो ऐसे डंडे हैं ठीक है टू स्टिक्स आर देयर सो दीज स्टिक्स लेट से आई एम राइटिंग इट लीनियर लेटर आई शो यू हाउ द ट्विस्टिंग इज डन ठीक है लेट से दिस इज वन and this is another theek okay, a strand of the dna now within this strand you have these base pairs nitrogenous base pairs look at them nitrogen compounds hai this is cytosine guanine adenine and uracil theek okay, thiamine theek okay, hai yahan par thiamine you can see it now they are complementary see yahan par let's say there are base pairs like that theek okay, hai इसके ऊपर यू कैन सी हियर ऑन दिस ट्रेंड यू हैव द बेस पेयर इन अ पर्टिकुलर सीक्वेंस ठीक है नाउ इन द सिमिलर मैनर ऑन द अदर 
one also on the other strand also there will be base pairs now these base pairs they have a peculiar behavior they pair together in a complementary manner meaning kya hai whenever there is a guanine this guanine is going to pair with cytosine similarly whenever there is a thiamine this is going to pair with adenine तो ये कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी होता है इफ ए इज देर इट इज गोइंग टू पेयर विद टी इफ सी इज देर इट इज गोइंग टू पेयर विद जी सपोज इफ आई हैव हियर जी देन द पेयरिंग पोर्शन मस्ट बी सी हियर इफ आई हैव टी हियर द पेयरिंग पोर्शन मस्ट बी ए हियर इफ आई हैव ए हियर देन इट मस्ट बी टी हियर इफ आई हैव सी हियर देन इट मस्ट बी जी अगेन लेट से टी है तो ये होना चाहिए अगेन टी है तो फिर ये ही आएगा यहां पर इन दिस मैनर दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी ठीक है सो ओनली दे कैन अटैच दे कैन बॉन्ड ओनली इन दिस मैनर कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी बेस पेयर नाउ वेन दे पेयर टूगेदर एंड दीज टू स्ट्रैंड दे कम टूगेदर देन देर विल बी ए ट्विस्टिंग ऑफ इट ठीक है सो यहां पर देखो आर एन ए इज ओनली वन स्ट्रैंड वन स्ट्रैंड है इसलिए आपको यूरासिल दिखेगा यू कैन सी यूरासिल इन केस ऑफ RNA instead of thiamine you can see uracil whereas in case of DNA it is two strands two strands and here instead of uracil you see thiamine and these two strands twisted together they are combined and twisted together giving giving a double helical structure and this structure was like first decoded first found by watson and crick and this finding of the structure of dna was very crucial step in order to understand about the dna how the base pairs are attached and to know about the genes and everything this was a very crucial step okay that's the reason why lot of import, importance is paid a lot of attention is paid on the structure of dna now having understood the dna structure like we have seen dna are very essential they are the components which hold all the genetic information right now this dna it has to be replicated in order to multiply the cell growth see if one cell say another cell ban raha that means whatever that is there within one cell has to be present in another cell otherwise there will be cell error then there won't be good functioning of the cells so for this including genetic material that is dna must replicate must duplicate and it has to be present in the another cell as well that is where we need to know how the replication is done and within this replication process of the dna if there are some errors they will have serious implications so in order to correct those errors in order to treat the diseases due to that dna errors all of it can be done by understanding the replication purpose for this i have found a very useful video on youtube the video credits are given to you no know, your gino it's a just a 3d model just have a look at this video okay then i'll explain parallelly okay so please look at it and parallelly i'll also explain the process of it how it is done here okay yeah look at this DNA is a molecule made up of two strands twisted around each other in a double helix shape. Each strand is made up of a sequence of four chemical bases represented by the letters A, C, G and T. The two just a second guys. Main small screen mode pe ja kar I'll explain parallelly as well. Theek hai? Yeah. See we are looking at DNA, theek hai? Okay. so i'll explain the process as well in between theek hai dna is a molecule made up of two strands twisted around each other in a double helix shape each strand is made up of a sequence of four chemical bases represented by the letters a c g and t so these are the base pairs that we are talking about adenine thiamine guanine and cytosine 
and they are complementary look at this enter they have also given the colors in this 3d model red color yellow color blue color and green color okay the two, the two strands, strands are complementary this, this means, means that, that wherever, wherever there's, there's a t in one strand there, there will be an a in the opposite strand and wherever there's a c there will be a g in the other strand each strand has a five prime end and a three prime end right i'll have to explain what is this see the strand will be having ends where that is ending that end is determined based on where the presence is if five end means five prime means fifth position pe hai third prime third end means third prime means third position pe hai carbon compound theek hai so on the basis of it we determine it as five prime and third prime itna detail li zarurat nahi but you know this uh five prime end and third prime end because this is needed when replication is done always it is done from 5 to 3 is tarike se chalta hai theek hai there is that sequence two strands run in opposite directions this yes. determines ha this is please understand ye dono strands jo hai they run in opposite direction one strand okay i'll take it here i'm oh, sorry i'll take it here see if we अनजिप दिस डीएनए डीएनए सी ये वाला पोर्शन जो है ठीक है दिस रन इन लेट से फाइव प्राइम एंड टू थ्री प्राइम एंड दूसरा वाला जो है अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में फाइव प्राइम प्राइम एंड यहां पर आएगा एंड थ्री प्राइम एंड विल बी हियर ठीक है सो दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री दे आर अपोजिट दे आर रनिंग इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन एंड each of them are called this one is called leading strand and this one is called lagging strand kyunki opposite mein hai and based on the availability of these prime ends the replication process will begin theek hai else you see that uh, video now theek hai in a double helix shape e and t okay. this means t there will be each the two strands run Oh, sorry guys. The five prime end and a three prime end. The two strands run in opposite directions. This determines how each strand of DNA is replicated. The first step in DNA replication is to separate the two strands. This is called this unzipping. This is done by an enzyme called helicase, helicase. and results in the formation of a replication fork. This is called replication. Separated strands each provide a template for creating a new strand of DNA. An enzyme called primase starts the process. Just remember the name of enzyme. So it forms a RNA base, so that it gives an indication of RNA called a primer. This marks the starting point for the construction of the new strand of DNA. An enzyme called DNA polymerase binds to the primer. and will make the new strand of dna dna polymerase can only add dna bases in one direction from the 5 prime end to the 3 prime end one of the new strands of dna the leading strand is made continuously the dna polymerase adding bases please understand why it is made continuously because it is from 5 end to 3 end so see the direction pe hai बट इसका अपोजिट वाला एंड जो रहेगा वो उल्टा डायरेक्शन पे रहेगा थ्री से फाइव की तरफ रहेगा बट इट कैन ओनली एड फ्रॉम फाइव टू थ्री सो दैट्स वाई इट कैन नॉट बी मेड कंटिन्यूसली दैट्स वेयर पहले प्राइमर्स का डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेगमेंट्स बना के सेगमेंट वाइज एड करता है देन लेटर दैट प्राइमर विल बी रिप्लेस विद द डी एन ए एंड देन देर विल बी कंप्लीट स्मूथनिंग ऑफ इट विथ लाइगेज लाइगेज इन जाइन The other strand, the lagging strand, cannot be made in this continuous way because it runs in the opposite direction. The DNA polymerase can therefore only make this strand in a series of small chunks. ये small chunks जो है series of small chunks में बनाना पड़ता है इसको क्योंकि ये opposite ulta direction में है और ये छोटा छोटा chunks जो है उसको okja की fragments कहते हैं. So fragment manner पे इसको complete करेगा. उसके बीच में जो primers है all these primers will be later replaced with the dna bases then there will be complete like jahan jahan par ye uh, no segment ka gaps hai those gaps will be filled and complete 
formation of the DNA strand will happen. Both Okazaki fragments. Each fragment is started with an RNA primer. DNA polymerase then adds a short row of DNA bases in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The next primer is then added further down the lagging strand. Another Okazaki fragment is then made, and the process is repeated again. Once the new DNA has been made, the enzyme exonuclease removes all the RNA primers from both strands of DNA. Another DNA polymerase enzyme then fills in the gaps that are left behind with DNA. Finally, the enzyme DNA ligase seals up the fragments of DNA in both strands to form a continuous double strand. Now you have the replicated DNA and DNA replication process is called semi-conserved process, semi-conservative process because in each strand one old strand will be there and one new strand will be there. That means one old strand has been conserved and new strand has been created that's the reason why it is called semi-conserved process okay dna replication is described as semi-conservative because each dna molecule is made up of one old conserved strand of dna and one new one okay this is simple replication of dna stages kya tha number one double helical structure jo dna hai okay let me take you take you here See, double helical structure mein jo DNA hai, that has to be unzipped and two uh, matlab, uh, replication fork will be created. And this replication fork will have two strands. One strand is called leading strand, another strand is called lagging strand. Now, what is the leading strand? Leading strand will be having the direction of this uh, no, uh, ends from 5 primer to 3 primer end. Now here there will be continuous you no know, attachment of the complementary bases and the entire DNA strand will continuously happen because yes see the direction pe hai. and our enzyme jo hai polymerase it can only add from 5 end to 3rd end. Theke? Now whereas in case of other strand which is called lagging strand so it is not continuously done because यहाँ पर क्या है उल्टा direction में है three primer से लेकर पांच primer की तरफ the direction is present but only polymerase can add from five primer to third primer what it has to do it has to find the five primer वाला location वहाँ पर एक indication लगाने के लिए primer को रखकर वहाँ से five prime to third prime की तरफ you will be adding the base pairs then again there will be a this again ulta hota hai again you have to put the primer again add from 5 primer to 3rd primer so this happens in the fragments manner such fragments are called okazaki fragments look at this yaha par 5 end se lekar 3rd end tak there is a continuous formation of the strand whereas in the lagging strand say 5 end is here 3 end is here, so it has to be added in this fragment. Again, here there is a gap and this graph will be again primer ke saath fill hoga. Then here again primer ke saath fill hoga. Then again 5 end se 3 end tak there will be one more fragment. Again one more fragment. In this manner, in the form of fragments it will be added and these fragments are called Okazaki fragments. Now once the fragments are done, then this primer has to be removed and in the price place of the primer, again the DNA basis has to be put. That's when this entire DNA strand is going to be completed. Once the complete is there, then ligase comes and it seals up all the, whatever the fragments that are there that will be sealed off and you will have a perfect replica of the strand of the DNA. So that's the reason why we call it as semi-conservative because half of this section is the old DNA and half of this section is new DNA. 
Now tell me, is it understood everyone? Is there any doubt? Is the concept understood? Clear? Prem? Yes, yes sir, clear. clear. Gautam? Soumya, very good. Okay. Sandeep? Simple concept, hai. just you need to uh, pay attention. Very simple concept. Okay. Now, let us write more about it. Then protein synthesis we will discuss tomorrow. So please, put the heading DNA structure and replication. And yaha par likh lije. DNA, bracket me, deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribonucleic acid, bracket closed, is a nucleic acid nucleic acid that transmits genetic information genetic information from parent to offsprings and codes for and codes for production of proteins production of proteins next point me likhe in dna each nucleotide each nucleotide is made up of three parts one five carbon sugar isi ko deoxyribose bolte hai theek hai bracket mein deoxyribose two a phosphate group three a nitrogen base nitrogen base earlier i was drawing all these things but utna deeply chahiye nahi hai that's why i'm not drawing otherwise you need to draw the nitrogen bases theek hai and uska jo counter pair kaise base base basing kaise banta hai wo wala indicate karna aur wahan se twist karke ye double helical structure dikhana wo sare cheez ki zarurat nahi hai theek hai simple simple tarike se likh lenge theek hai next point mein likh lijiye dna uses four kinds of nitrogen bases DNA uses four kinds of nitrogen bases. One, two, three, four. करके लिख लो. One, adenine bracket में A. Two, guanine bracket में G. Three, cytosine bracket में C. Four, thiamine bracket में D. So in case of RNA, instead of thiamine, you find uracil. Simple. ठीक है ये याद रख लेना. अगर किसी ने आपसे पूछा है, what are the differences between DNA and RNA? This is one difference. दूसरा structure में difference आता है. RNA is single stranded, DNA is double stranded. ठीक है? Double helical structure में होता है. ठीक है? That is another difference. ठीक है? Now, structure of RNA, uh, structure of DNA, we have to write. Simply, please, next point, me likhe These base pairs are complementary. These base pairs are complementary. Hence, giving, hence, giving a twisted Hence, these base pairs are complementary, hence giving a twisted structure called double helical structure. Double helical structure. Diagram as a banalu.
ठीक है दिस इज वन स्टैंड दिस इज अनदर स्टैंड ठीक है एंड बोथ स्ट्रैंड आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट कंबाइंड विद दी कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री बेसिस ठीक है यहां पर बेसिस So this line is showing the bond between this pair and that base pair. Simple. Okay. ऐसे ठीक है ऐसे structure बना लो simple. Next subheading लिख लीजिए done. This structure is done. Simply write write structure double. हेलिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डीएनए ये हेडिंग हो जाएगा इसका ठीक है अच्छा आई थिंक आई एम कवरिंग इट इशू नेक्स्ट प्लीज फुट दी हेडिंग रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ डीएनए रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ डीएनए Please write. Strand is made up of a sequence of four chemical bases, represented complementary. There will be an A, D. There will be a G. It has a five prime. Determines how each strand of DNA is replicated. Step by step. First step in DNA. Step one. Okay. Replication is to separate the two strands. This unzipping is done by an enzyme called helicase. So step one, please write it. यहां पर ये हो रहा है ठीक है अनजिपिंग ऑफ द डीएनए ठीक है स्टेप वन पे लिख लीजिए एंजाइम हेलिकेस अनजिप्स डीएनए इनटू टू इंडिविजुअल स्ट्रैंड्स एंजाइम हेलिकेस एंजाइम हेलिकेस अनजिप्स डीएनए इंटू टू टी डब्ल्यू ओ टी डब्ल्यू डबल डब्ल्यू ओ टी डब्ल्यू ओ टू टू सिंगल स्ट्रैंड्स सिंगल स्ट्रैंड्स उसका आप कंटिन्यू कर लीजिए वन स्टैंड विल रन फ्रॉम फाइव प्राइमर टू थ्री प्राइमर मतलब फाइव प्राइमर मतलब ये वाला आता है ठीक है ऐसे वाला प्राइमर फाइव प्राइमर टू थ्री प्राइमर ठीक है दैट इज इस तरीके से है सो दैट द रेप्लीकेशन कैन बी डन फ्रॉम फाइव प्राइमर टू थ्री प्राइमर देन अनदर वन इज देयर विच रन फ्रॉम थ्री प्राइमर टू फाइव प्राइमर ठीक है And this one is the ulta one. ठीक है So please write. क्या लिखा था आपने Somebody tell me what is been written. One strand, one strand will run from hmm, five primer to three primer called leading strand. Called leading strand. ठीक है and another will run from 3 primer to 5 primer called lagging strand called lagging strand see as a split toker do strands mein jo dikhta hai that is called replication fork theek hai baad mein diagrammatically hum represent kar lenge theek hai next next point mein likh lijiye step 2 स्टेप टू में लिख लीजिए एन एंजाइम प्राइम एस एन एंजाइम प्राइम एस क्रिएट्स ए प्राइमर 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 जो होता है वो एक साइड के जैसे जहां से स्टार्ट करना है रेप्लीकेशन स्टार्ट करना है वहां से इंडिकेशन होता है क्रिएट्स ए प्राइमर 
from where another enzyme from where another enzyme dna polymerase from where another enzyme dna polymerase starts adding dna bases in complementary manner in complementary manner so stop can you kar lijiye in leading strand this replication is done continuously replication is done continuously while in lagging strand it is done fragment wise it is done fragment wise and each frag fragment is called and each fragment is called क्या बोलते हैं ओकाजाकी फ्रैगमेंट्स यस इच फ्रैगमेंट इज कॉल्ड ओकाजाकी फ्रैगमेंट्स फ्रैगमेंट वो के ये जेड ए के आई ओकाजाकी वो के ये जेड ए के आई ओकाजाकी फ्रैगमेंट्स टॉप में जो लीडिंग एंड पे जो रेप्लीकेशन हो रहा है उसमें कोई तकलीफ नहीं है बट यहां पर तकलीफ ये है इट्स नॉट कंटिन्यूस इन बिटवीन देर आर प्राइमर्स एज ए होल्स नाउ प्राइमर्स हैव टू बी रिप्लेस्ड ठीक है उनको दोबारा रिप्लेस करना होगा राइट सो दीज प्राइमर्स हैव टू बी रिप्लेस्ड अगेन विद द डीएनए वंस सो दैट्स वेयर you are another theek okay, hai enzyme comes and that will be like replaced uh, with the dna complements theek okay, hai this is what we have seen here further down the lagging like strand okay. so ye primers ko hatana hoga another which is then theek okay. hai once the new dna has been made look at this this is where another enzyme that is exonuclease is coming which is removing all the primers and again that will be filled with your dna counter pairs then once these fragments are also filled then sealing off has to be done that will be done by ligase to so please write next point me likh lijiye another enzyme exonuclease removes all the clears removes all the rna primers from both strands the of dna rna primers another dna polymerase and the gaps are and the gaps are filled with dna bases by dna polymerase si jahan par bhi dna base aakar jud rahe matlab there is dna polymerase enzyme is there theek hai dna polymerase now all the gaps are also filled entire lagging strand is also filled with the dna bases only dikkat ye hai ki beech beech mein kata hua hai so that fragments has to be sealed off that work will be done by what ligase theek hai next point mein likh lijiye enzyme ligase seals off seals off all the fragments giving giving the entire dna strand entire dna strand so once the strand is uh, created again it will be twisted and go back to its normal double helical structure now look at this in this uh, why it is called semi conservative process because 
one old strand is still there and one new strand has been created so one old strand has been conserved right that's the reason why it is called semi conservative process okay this is how the entire replication is done so bottom me likh lijiye acha last me kya likha tha please repeat last point last point me last ka thoda somebody like fragments thereby huh ट That's it. ये है रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ द डीएनए ठीक है और इसको डायग्रामेटिकली रिप्रेजेंट करना है यू कैन प्रेजेंट इट विद दिस डायग्राम ठीक है द स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्रोसेस हैज बीन गिवेन हियर यू कैन सी इट सी द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्स इन टू टू स्ट्रेंड वन इज लीडिंग स्ट्रेंड लुक एट दिस फाइव प्राइम टू थ्री प्राइम अनदर वन इज लैगिंग स्ट्रेंड थ्री प्राइम टू फाइव प्राइम एंड लीडिंग स्ट्रेंड पे डीएनए पॉलीमरेज Uh, will come and continuously add those bases यहां पर add कर रहा है ठीक है उल्टा है यहां पर ये leading हो गया वो lagging हो गया then another one वहां पर with the help of the uh, Okazaki strands another one is also being created then later that will be removed by exonuclease all the primers RNA primers and that will be added to uh, DNA primers to that and then finally ligase will seals off this entire strand ठीक है तो इसको डायग्रामेटिकली रिप्रेजेंट कर लो सिंपल ठीक है दैट्स ऑल अबाउट डीएनए रेप्लीकेशन टुमारो वी विल कवर दैट टू प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एंड फर्दर टॉपिक्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन सो टेल मी एनी डाउट सो फॉर ऑल द पॉइंट्स आर क्लियर इफ ऑल द पॉइंट्स आर क्लियर वी कैन वाइंड अप द सेशन हियर एंड सी यू टुमारो विद द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ इट